Hello Aquariuses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of December 2018 Merry Christmas reading. Welcome if you're new, welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the beginning who come to me for monthly, three months, six months, and yearly readings. I greatly appreciate your trust in my gift. Okay, so... <clears throat> When I look at the first Lenormand spread for whichever Aquarius energy I am reading for in this general reading, and thanks to those of you who do let me know that they are indeed your energies and or readings, I appreciate it very much. This particular Aquarius is thinking about a new path ahead, is maybe starting to plan a new path ahead, but in their thoughts they are worried about or unsure of what it is they're wishing for exactly. This Aquarius energy, see, is trying to research a situation whereby they are a masculine energy or the person they're thinking of is a masculine, passionate energy. Divine timing is at work here to help bring clarity to this particular Aquarius. This Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, may be thinking about communication, social media, community. And they're feeling stuck or trapped in some way in this regard. They are thinking about their home environment, wanting to make changes in the home with the home, wanting to move home or move from one business to the other. They are learning more and more about a home situation, thinking about the long-term future. This particular Aquarius has been on a long path for a long period of time, and uh, they're thinking about how they're going to get on the other side of their own confusion. Yeah, see, there's an ending here that needs to take place, that did take place, that I feel like needs to take place, and it's feeling, it's like a burden when it comes to this Aquarius. So when we look at the third week of December 2018, um, there are thoughts of prayer or Spirit is advising that this Aquarius pray for them to guide them when it comes to communication, a new direction. By the third week, Aquarius could be communicating, texting, tweeting, praying to Spirit with the compass energies, trying to figure out something regarding the home environment, something regarding moving home. This particular Aquarius, again, is, is clouded. They don't have the clarity they need. And they're thinking about communications, messages. By the fourth week of December 2018, this Aquarius energy is looking at a long path that maybe they're thinking about involved a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or they're thinking about finances and that it's going to be a long path ahead trying to make a change regarding this home. Sweeping away from a home environment. Could be a business. And in the outcome position, I found this very interesting. I didn't see this this way, I don't think, ever before, but it seems like normally they have someone in their path with them and they're thinking about them day to day, but I got that they've got one person on their mind that they're not with, and then I feel like they're almost like with someone who is bored and discontent. Now it could be like two feminine energies, one's bored and discontent, thinking about another or the other in some way. There's a desire to sweep away from waiting for this financial communication so you can have clarity and figure out, okay, now what do I do next? Where do I go next? So don't rest on your laurels when it comes to your own life path is what I'm hearing for the second half of December 2018 Aquarius is. Now's the time to just get really clear with yourself about the basics. What is it that I basically need to be happy day to day? How am I going to take the steps to manifest that and, and celebrate that and start fresh? 
because the timing would be perfect for starting fresh because this is the end of a number two year. We're going into a number three year where we can celebrate the decisions we made in 2018. And ironically, this jumped out. First card in the center of the circle spread. Now I was guided to use the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. So they are speaking with this particular Aquarius about their destiny. An old path has ended and now it's time to get excited for the destiny ahead. What's destined to be, right? So in your thoughts position, Aquarius, from the third into the fourth week of December 2018, this Aquarius, I think, is receiving communication. Hmm. If they haven't already, about victory and success and they're waiting on more paperwork, more communication, more information. Now in the relationship sector, Spirit is trying to really get this Aquarius excited about new achievements and new goals and new intentions and a fresh newness in their life when it comes to their path, their foundation, their home in the first three, four weeks of December 2018. Now by the end of December 2018 in the creative aspects position, Spirit's saying just let love flow. Remove any old blockages in this new path. And in the actions position, Spirit's saying with the solar plexus, now it's time to apply your wisdom and power to a new path, recognizing what you've learned. You've come a long way, congratulations, and the destiny is ahead. What you were destined to be, what you, where you were destined to live, where you were destined to work, how much you were destined to make, a creative project you want to create. <laughs> uh, in the emotional aspects position, we have power. So emotionally, no, Aquarius is in the second half of December 2018, you've got power, like the wisdom of the elder and the lion. They know what they want, they know what their prey is, and they conquer everything between their goals, their intentions, and the reality of what they desired. So you have a lot of strength here to achieve success. Now, subconsciously, we have the base chakra spirit saying, ground yourself as you slowly make these achievements and hear about the money situation and sweep away from what was, get excited about the destiny ahead. Day to day, there will be decisions, choices, and movement. And spirit saying, let it flow. All is as it is supposed to be right now. Now in your inner strengths position, you've got the sacral chakra. This is about creativity. This is about sexuality, your wisdom and your power. And stepping into your destiny, knowing the path ahead, it relies completely on you to make the right decisions. And to be good with that because it's what's meant to be. Ground yourself, as in your relationship sector, you create great achievements and a solid foundation for your future. Beautiful, this is beautiful. Somebody may just find contentment after they move or get ready to move, they're content, they're waiting, they may get a little bit bored, make sure you do all the work, like clean out things you don't need anymore, bring things to goodwill or however, and box up what you don't use day to day and get ready and excited. Think about how to decorate that new path, that new office, that new home, that new whatever it is in your path ahead. In the first, uh, well I should say by the third week of December 2018, now I'm doing a three card summary to my right with the same uh, Psychic Oracle deck. They're saying positive movement ahead. Is this victory and success you'll probably be feeling and thinking about? You'll know that you are destined to move in this path and you recognize that you have been putting the work in and can now reap your material harvest, which is gonna do what, like we talked about? Create a firm foundation through your achievements. I see great harmony and rest. Things happening quickly, and that I think is what's causing for the little bit of a hold back with this Aquarius. They're kind of feeling like, oh, you know, what is my truth? They're coming into an awareness of many things, which I'm not gonna get into. Those are personal, different directions that just went all right um by the fourth week of december 2018 we have recognition and reward like i talked about
Your achievements will bring you recognition and reward, and you will be celebrating the movement choices and decisions you'll be making day to day towards your destiny. Emotional withdrawal, maybe from an old water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Feeling very happy and joyful in your life. But there are energies of deception and envy here. So I heard, think about that. Be careful of walking or stepping in your shadow side. Walk in the light of your truth. Do not get drawn into the energies of anyone around you who may not be good for you. Or you are saying, I'm stepping out of the shadow side. I'm facing my own truths. And I'm setting new goals so that I can move towards the fulfillment of my wishes. Should be this way. There's a call for patience here. So I'm assuming paperwork or some sort of communication is going to take some time. But Spirit's saying by the end of the year, Aquarius is, they're offering you the energies of hope. They're helping you to sacrifice the muddy waters. The sky is opening up and there are beautiful rainbows waiting for you, but you've got to shake off whatever negative energy that is. Yeah, it's causing inner disruption, inner concerns and worries. They're telling you that new beginnings in your life in many ways, whatever, write down new beginnings and think about how you can create new beginnings in your life in different areas, how you can start drawing, writing, painting, creating a book, doing photography, starting and marketing a business, work creating your own small business, get it, taking a class to work on your craft that you were blessed with. This process is going to help for you to find balance in your life. And again, yeah, they're saying with that discontent and boredom I talked about. Stand your ground that there will not be discontent and boredom, but instead will be the releasing of old memories and love, understanding that you've gone full circle in the universe of your current journey. And now it's just time. It's time to move forward. But there's suffering, sadness. I think that's another reason spirits kind of slowing things down, but I don't think they're going to be that slow. Let's bring in some clarification and, and spiritual guidance here for Aquarius's, please, using the wisdom of the House of Night deck. Ooh, I'm being called away here for a minute. Now, I did see education, learning something. What is it? The truth about loyalty. Because somebody doesn't see something from the same perspective. What are you focusing on? Somebody, you need to look closer at a connection or your own perspective on a playful connection. Because there could be the summoning of messages where there's hope and then, then someone ends up feeling trapped. Whoever that was, personal reading might be a good idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clarify by using the Gilded Tarot deck so we can see some of the maybe sun sign, moon sign, and or rising signs of those whom by which you may be communicating or dealing or whatever with connected to in the second half of December 2018. So we have destiny. Now, somebody may be thinking that their destiny is to come together with another who has children. Their destiny involves having children and family involved. Your destiny, someone may be thinking, my destiny is that connection from the past. Ooh. In the thoughts position, we have victory and success. And here's the Aquarius, speaking their truth, setting their goals and tensions, standing by their boundaries, starting to feel more victorious, starting to feel like they can open up and make new choices and new decisions regarding children, being clear with someone from their past, as this Aquarius in their relationship sector is healing, maybe from the past or a situation involving children. Spirit, it, Spirit's advice is continue to follow through with your achievements tied to your foundation, your home, your business, your solid foundation, right? The path beneath you, your inner strength. In your creative aspects position, Aquarius. Somebody is not appreciating what they have in their life. It's right there, two full cups behind them, and yet they're, they're, they're mourning spilt milk of the past. The party's over, right? 
look for the blessings and let love flow. Spirit is helping for you to do so. Maybe with a creative project, a creative idea. In your actions position, we have an Aquarius that is using all of their wisdom and power up to this point in their path. And they're trying to think clearly when it comes to a judicial situation. Or as they take action to recognize what they've learned in connection to their path and others in their path. Uh, as a major arcana, justice, spirit's going to help to cut away from anyone or anything negative in our life. Now it could be negative actions, negative connections, uh, negative partnerships, trying to get to the truth with wisdom. Emotionally, setting goals and intentions towards your purpose. Now somebody may come, be coming in to tempt you or There could be an Aquarius here who wants to go back to destiny for a moment. Or who is being in touch with someone from their past. Focus on your goals and intentions. Don't worry about what was because we're all stepping into a brand new in 2019. In your subconscious position, we've got the base chakra spirit saying, ground yourself. Yes, thank you with the Five of Swords because that's about always wanting to win the battle but in the long run losing the war. Spirit saying ground yourself. You are living the path you are destined to live and now it's time to move into new and exciting beginnings as you heal from what was and set new achievements to conquer. Justice will turn in your favor and love will begin to flow again. So day to day, through your choices, your decisions, and your forward movement, Spirit is offering you the major arcana, the magician, to help you to manifest your destiny, to let go of what was and anything that keeps you feeling sad and down, because now is the time for love to begin. And now is the time to know what that means to you. Was it the one on my mind? Was it the one in my path? Whoever that was for. Yes. Somebody may be mourning a magician. Maybe there was someone who was manipulative and you're making different decisions to move towards your destiny with your children and find victory and success and to make the right choices on your highest behalf. They're giving you the sacral chakra in your inner strengths position, saying we're going to give you the strength when it comes to creativity and sexuality. To stand strong and firm in your path with your goals, your achievements. There could be something diagonally here having to do with children and justice. But Spirit saying this is your destiny. Wonderful things are set to transpire. There's something beautiful being learned here. And it may be that this child ties you to someone from the past. So, in a three card summary here to my left with the same Gilded Tarot deck, they're saying that by the third week of December 2018, you may be dealing with Lawyers, judges, someone in charge. This could be a boss. You're hoping to leave that experience, those circumstances and situations behind. Hopefully this Aquarius is keeping their heart and their intuition open to new directions. And however that applies, what am I choosing to create in my life that's a new direction for me? I need to let go of what was and enjoy new beautiful surroundings, happiness, and contentment. Now here's we where we have these energies that are negative. Is there someone who has an addiction or have you become addicted to a place, person, place, circumstance, or situation, Aquarius? Do they have earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn? Or is there someone that's, hmm, They're saying be careful what you wish for. This person 
is thinking about money, but I'm not sure their whole head is into the partnership. Okay, this could just be choosing a job of many or a home of many. Thank you, Spirit. Trying to make the right decision, moving forward towards fulfillment. Praying to Spirit, thank you, about an ending. And with the Ace of Cups, it's confirmation that Spirit wants to overflow your cup with love and abundance, happiness, joy, and prosperity in a brand new beginning, a brand new path of great love and happiness. So let the ending transpire that needs to transpire and celebrate this beautiful new foundation. Now we have an Empress and the Queen of Cups here, so I feel like there could be someone who has Pisces in their chart and there's a desire to have harsh communication. But spiritual advice is saying to this Aquarius, create a direction and let the old sword fall. Your ship is coming in when it comes to your home, your business, or a creative project. It's time to move forward. You are not stuck in a situation that offers you an empty cup. Someone may be trying to reach out to you, Aquarius, who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or you're trying to create a new partnership, a new direction, and you've got this blessed little person here in your life and something going on with them. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, little, young. So you're trying to create a new path, and at the same time, you're trying to figure out, oh my gosh, what do I want? How am I going to get there? And how am I going to find that light at the end of the tunnel? And Spirit keeps saying it's on its way. You're just kind of cloudy in the second half of December 2018, trying to find that path. Open your heart to this difficult child and have the strength to be playful. There's worry here. There's like somebody feels stuck and they don't know how they're going to move ahead. Which place, which person, which situation. And in the outcome position, they're saying by the end of the year, there is a happily ever after. There is the money coming, maybe to pay for the house or to build a solid foundation or to start a new business. You will be able to sweep away from an old home, an old path in some way, and you will have the energies of the world to step into a new portal. So who's it gonna be? Ooh, this Aquarius may not know who they're giving their heart to. Wow. Now I'm feeling a couple things here. Either this is the Aquarius saying, I want to get married, I want to have a partnership, a relationship, a new chapter together. That's what I'm feeling. Or they're dealing, this Aquarius is dealing with another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and they're thinking about a new chapter with them. Spirit's going to help you guys to make the right decision. Remember, what was, was, and now the swords of the past are dissipating, and it's time to stand up stronger in your truth because you have more awareness in your life. So if something is meant to fall away, let it fall away. It may happen quickly. And again, there's this like a desire, maybe a passion, but I don't feel like it's really intense for someone who may have earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because somebody is still thinking about maybe an old fiery X or a person who used to have fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo. But they're confirming that path no longer fulfills you. That path is now empty. It's time to get excited about the journey ahead because you're going to shine brightly when you get there, when you step into it, when you move forward from what's trans been transpiring thus far. So things will get better is what most of those energies had to say. Woo! Boy, am I fast. Okay. I want to bring in a closing message, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. And I'm going to do this by bringing in the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Dorian Virtue. Closing message, please. Message of prayer for the end of December. Have confidence. Have confidence that you are walking in your destiny, that you are strong, you are protected, and you are walking towards victory and success, greater achievement in your life, and a solid foundation. 
Let love flow. Let life flow. Don't worry about what was. Heal and stay clear when it comes to your boundaries. Ground yourself and let go of a war that cannot be won. The prayer here for the second half of December 2018 is, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Know what you want and where you're going and keep your eyes on your targeted intentions. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. And my price list is below. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care and Merry Christmas.